In this video, we're going to be talking about online advertising versus traditional advertising. We'll even take a look at a couple of examples and a couple of case studies so you can figure out which one is better for you. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chris Abbott, but all my friends just call me Abbo. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about traditional advertising versus online advertising. Now, I work primarily with churches and have for the last seven years, but the principles in this video will work regardless whether you are a church or a local business or a Fortune 500 company, so, Let's dive in. Okay, so the old way of getting attention and inviting people to church was traditional advertising. Things like billboards and direct mail, TV, radio, maybe even newspaper, right? But are those things still working now? And if so, how do they measure up to things like online advertising? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about. So if your church or business is using traditional advertising, you're actually leaving a lot of money on the table and chances are you're wasting a lot of your marketing dollars. Okay, so let's take a look at how online advertising matches up to traditional advertising. Okay, so direct mail. Well, the amount of direct mail that people get in the U.S. has actually doubled over the last 10 years. In fact, it's become such an epidemic that apartment complexes have started putting out giant trash cans just for people to throw their direct mail in. They were sick of people throwing it all over the floor, which is what people do when you send a direct mail piece. Okay, so direct mail is out. What about newspaper? Well, I've never had a newspaper subscription in my life, and I'm 39. I haven't picked up a magazine in 10 years thanks to something called the internet and I never listen to the radio anymore because I have Spotify and Apple Music like an adult. So if you're using TV or radio or billboards or any of these types of things, the bottom line is you're throwing money away and people just aren't seeing it. There's too much noise, there's too much clutter, and you can be so much more effective with your marketing dollars using online advertising. Let's take a look at why. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of case studies and examples. Let's see what happened when these churches used online advertising and what it would have looked like if they had used traditional advertising. Okay, so here's a church of 120 people who was marketing their pictures with Santa Sunday that they were having in December. Now, while this was Christmas related, this was actually on December 11th, so it wasn't at, it wasn't a Christmas Eve service or anything like that. It's just a normal Sunday in December, and they just ran a simple Facebook ad letting people know about their event. Okay, and that Facebook ad had 11,000 impressions, reached 8,000 people and invited them to church, had 236 clicks to their website. They only paid 33 cents per click and their total ad spend was $78. But the result is that they had 47 new visitors on a single Sunday in December. So a church of 120 spent $78 on Facebook and got 47 new visitors on a single Sunday. But when we did the math to find out what would it cost to run 8,000 mailers in that exact city to those same people, and it would have cost over $2,000 to send out direct mail. So $78 on Facebook and 47 new visitors, if we would have sent out 8,000 Christmas mailers, spent over $2,000 and we have absolutely no idea if anyone would have showed up. $78 versus $2,200 just because we're using targeted ads on Facebook. Okay, so let's take a look at case study number two. This church is a little bit larger. This is a church of 2,000 people. So they used Facebook ads to get the word out about their Easter service. So let's take a look at the numbers. With Facebook ads, they had 107,000 impressions. They were able to reach 25,000 people and invite them to church. They had a frequency of 4.23, meaning those 25,000 people saw the ad an average of over four times. They had 1,164 clicks to the website. They only paid 37 cents per click and the total investment was $433. If they would have done direct mail instead of Facebook ads and sent out 25,000 mailers, they would have spent over $9,000 on mailers. And again, with Facebook ads, we only spent $433. And we know how many people clicked on it, how many people went to the website. And this church of 2000 actually had an additional 1,500 visitors on Easter with $400 in ad spent. So 400 bucks on Facebook ads, an additional 1,500 visitors on Easter Sunday, $9,000 with direct mail. And we don't know if anyone would have actually showed up. Okay, so what's your experience been with traditional media versus online advertising? Have you been using Facebook and Instagram ads? Have you tried direct mail, right? Let us know in the comments below. We wanna know your stories. If you've got numbers, we wanna know how does traditional advertising line up with online advertising? Let's take a look at case study number three. Here's another large church, 5,000 people who used Facebook ads to invite people out to their Easter service. Let's take a look at the numbers. Okay, using Facebook ads, they were able to get 889,000 impressions, 347,000 people invited, they had 101,000 video views, had just shy of 10,700 clicks to their website, and they paid a penny per video view and only 33 cents per click to the website. 
So their total investment was $4,600 on Facebook ads. And the best part was they maxed out their entire main sanctuary. They maxed out their overflow sanctuary and they had to shut down their kids building because they were three times over what the fire marshal said they could legally have in the building. So that church literally had over a thousand people stuck outside the church on Easter Sunday because of Facebook ads. Now, what would have happened if we had used direct mail instead of Facebook ads? Well, let's take a look. With Facebook ads, we know that we reached 347,000 people and we reached them multiple times. But if we had sent out 347,000 mailers, it would have looked like this. On Facebook ads, they spent $4,600 and had over 1,000 people stuck outside the church because they literally maxed out their church. But if they had set out 347,000 mailers, they actually would have spent $87,000 on direct mail and who knows if anyone would have even showed up. And lastly, let's take a look at one more case study, uh, this one of a church of 120 people in the Midwest. Okay, so this church was trying to get the word out about their fall festival, so they were able to target everyone within driving distance of their church and invite them out to the fall festival. Again, church of 120 people, let's take a look at the numbers. They had almost 7,600 impressions, they had 6,000 people invited, they had 238 post engagements, meaning people that liked, commented, and shared their posts. They had 167 clicks to the website. They only paid 37 cents per click. So the total ad spend was only $61. And the result is that that church of 120 people had over 500 people show up to their fall festival. $61 in ad spend on Facebook. And that church of 120 had over 500 people show up to their fall festival. Let's take a look and see what would happen if we use direct mail instead of Facebook ads. So again, on Facebook ads, we know that we reached 6,000 people. So if we'd sent out 6,000 mailers, we would have spent $1,699. So just shy of $1,700. So on Facebook ads, $61 and over 500 people show up to the event. And with direct mail, almost $1,700. And we don't know if anyone would have showed up. Okay, so those are four powerful examples on how to use online advertising versus traditional advertising. And if you'd like to learn more about how to grow your church using Facebook ads, you can check out how to promote your church on Facebook, part one.